So, now that I finished my finals, and now that it's Christmas, I can continue on with posting some more videos. So yeah, I passed both my classes, and now I'm already entering my last semester of college next spring. And the next level we'll be going to is Goolagoon. We were supposed to go to that level for the last part, but instead we entered in a new part of Bikini Bottom to unlock the Bubble Bowl. Because as mentioned before, there is something to use a Bubble Bowl in Goolagoon. There is something that we need to use Bubble Bowl in Goolagoon. So... Why don't we enter Goolagoon right now? As you need 10 golden spatulas for it. As we take a taxi there. Ah, Goolagoon. A sun-drenched beach of sludge at the bottom of the sea. But all is not well here on Paradise. That's what I used to like hearing from the French narrator when I was a kid. Him saying, ah, gula And then, over here is a parking lot. And it's right by Spongebob's house. Spongebob could have just walked there. And what do we have over here? You can use a ball bash to move these things. Stand on the platform and press Y. And it'll flip the flat platform over. Let me get that shiny object first. Yeah, I wish I would be at the beach right now. But now is not a good time since it's winter and it's Christmas. It would be nice to spend Christmas in the tropics. And then, hello, what robot do we have here? There's a fish minding his own business. While well, there's a robot with an umbrella who is also flying and watch out fish there's a storm cloud above you and funny as that storm cloud chases that fish and this robot is called monsoon watch out for his lightning attack so the simplest way to do this is to bowl bash monsoon And look who we have here, Larry the Lobster. SpongeBob, do I look burned? No, you look cooked. Because mostly every lobsters get cooked. Well, you do look a little red. Barnacles! That darn robot! Oh, what robot are we talking about? Robot! Yeah, a big robot stole everybody's sunscreen. So, it looks like a robot has stolen everyone's sunscreen. How could everyone go without sunscreen at the beach? Oh no! Everyone will burn! And then they'll get all itchy and peel. Exactly! You can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way too hot. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. 
SpongeBob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all you have to do is swim out to the island and turn the big reflector onto the robot. I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I uh, can't swim. Exactly, because SpongeBob can't swim as mentioned in SpongeGuard on Dewey. So it's straightforward. All you need to do is Bye, get it. go on one of these light towers on the light reflector. Like you head bubble bash it. I don't think that's the right one we go to. You bubble bash it right on this button over here. Then it goes to the next tower, then the next, then the next, then the next. And then it goes all the way to the last tower over there. Only need to try to get across. But without swimming, of course. We need to get to the pier through the caves. In order to get to that Somehow island. I don't think he needs a hand. And then, you can also get some shiny objects by spinning these umbrellas. Or they're actually called sun umbrellas. Ah, a little shade on a hot day. And I wish it could be hot in New England right now. Well, weather's in New England. They do their own thing. So anyway, I am thinking about posting both parts or three parts which are split into this recording. I'm just going to see how this recording goes. Maybe I'll post the recordings, all the recordings in one day, split into parts of course. Or if I don't have enough time to... If I don't have enough time to post both parts in one day, then I'll post the other part next day. The next day, actually. Let me just get to that shiny object over there. Watch out as that tiki would fly, well float actually, because it is a floating tiki, it floats up. And then what we must do is bounce on that fish, who's minding its own business, minding his own business, floating in the ocean, or goo. Whatever it's called in the sea. And now instead of that lifeguard tower, you must head bash this button over here. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Which goes to the next one. Instead of sneaking, I'll just use my bubble bowl. So now, we go into the next lifeguard tower. Which 
shine to the next reflector on the lifeguard tower. And now for the almost moment of truth. We head back to this button. And we've already shined the reflector on the last lifeguard tower. You can get to the other eye uh, to the that. Nah. You can get to the island from the pier on the other side of the sea caves. Just like what that sign says. Time to get to the sea caves. And then to the pier. And then to the island, of course. Well, over here we will need Patrick, but I just want to destroy that duplicate Ultron. Now how am I going to sneak past that sh Tiki? There we go. Yeah, you see, you need Patrick because of his throw fruit. Actually, why don't we talk to Larry again? If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and shoot the light out to the big reflector on the island. When the light is pointed at the island, go there and turn the last reflector. Yeah, he just gives directions from when we first from when we first saw him in Gulagoon. Let's switch to Patrick. Let's see what happens when Patrick talks to Larry. You know, we should talk about personal gym training sometime. I thought the gym was already trained. Patrick and his nonsense. But anyway, why don't we go on top of that lifeguard tower? So what you do is throw this throw fruit onto that button. And then some of the towels come up as platforms. Now you press this other button and the towels move from side to side. And now there are more beach towels which they spin around. And now on to the last Lifeguard tower we go. They all do a combination of three. Side to side, spinning in, moving back and forth. And here's one of Patrick's lost socks. Speaking of which, how many socks are there? There's 11. And we only got one of them. However, we should be able to get all socks. That water looks mighty cold. Oh yeah, sure does look cold. But we have to switch to SpongeBob. So now we must go to Mrs. Puff, where she's waiting for Spongebob. And what are all the kids flying with on balloons? Oh no! The children's balloons have been overfilled! They're carrying the children out of control! Oh no! 
But aren't they supposed to be having their fun? I don't know, Mrs. Puff. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. Yes, too much fun if you ask me. You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. Bubble bash all the balloons, then come see me for a reward. Can do, Mrs. Puff. Alright, just what Mrs. Puff said. What you must do is bubble bash the balloons, just like that, and then a kid comes down. So over here is a juice bar, just like in Muffle Bob, Muscle Bob Buff Pants. And now we must get that other kid from the balloon, who's flying on the balloon. What we must do is go on these platforms. You cannot bubble spin those balloons anyway. Somehow I don't think you need a hand. Can't bubble spin those bubble that balloons by the way. And now we rescued another kid who is lying down on the edge of the pole. And now we must rescue a third child. What we must do is head bash this platform. This one won't be easy because these poles are sinking. How am I supposed to get to that kid? Oh wait, just like that. And now that kid is on the ground. Well, on the sand actually. And now, we must defeat that monsoon robot. And destroy that duplicator tron. Then on top of the juice bar is one of other Patrick's lost socks. It shines. Fresh like a spring breeze. And now over here are just a bunch of tiki's and some more stone tiki's which only Patrick can use to throw on top of that to get to that platform. And I forget how many shiny objects uh -oh. we need to get there. If it's 2,000 then I guess I'll come back for it later. I just want to save the kids on their balloons or flying on balloons. Flying with balloons actually. Ow. That was lucky. Could have fell and drown into the water. Alright, where is that kid going to end up? I 
am I supposed to bowl bash that balloon if it doesn't end up where I want it to be? Come on. Let me just bowl bash those balloons. Oh no. Oh, come on. Why does it always do that? Oh my god. It's gonna take a while to ball bash those balloons. I almost had it. This is not easy when they're flying above water. Ow. Really? Let's hope that electric storm doesn't... That thunderstorm doesn't... Throw me in the water. Ah, there we go. Took me long enough. Okay, now these poles are sinking. At least all the kids are rescued. Now I can go see Mrs. Puff for our reward. My hero! You saved the children! <laughs> Here's a golden spatula as a reward! And now we got ourselves a golden spatula. Let's talk to Mrs. Buff again. Thank goodness the children are safe! Yeah, thank goodness indeed. They could have been flying up in the sky. If that's even possible. Get those tiggies over here and then switch to Patrick. So what you want to do here is stack those tiggies up top over there. But just let you know, one tiki is enough. I was going to say one tiki is not enough, but... Looks like it is. Oh, so we do need more than 2,000 shiny objects. Looks like that's what we have. To challenge the dragons. Why, yes. And now there's this sand castle across this moat. What we must do is jump on top of trampolines. We'll jump on trampolines and then on those... On these things. Back on the trampolines again. And now these platforms. And that's where you go to get the golden spatula.
on the small island over here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And now we gotta make our way across. Back to where we came from. They are dragons, but they're not real dragons. They look like those inflatable dragons. That doesn't look a thing like Spyro. Ouch. Oh no. I did not time it right. What just happened? You do not want to know what happened. But at least it takes us back here. Now we can switch this front wall and move along. Uh -oh. I can't swim. Well, we don't have that many shiny objects. You have to time these right. Over there is Bubble Buddy and... You can now go back to the main beach. Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. Coming at ya! Let me just defeat that monsoon. Then here's a sandcastle contest. Look at those nice sandcastles. And did you know that one of them resembles an Atari controller? Found that out in some YouTube video which I don't remember. Might be some did you know videos. Anyway, what we must do is try to get up top, right over here, to get one of Patrick's lost socks. I feel like a new sponge. And now over here is Bowl Buddy. SpongeBob, I heard that you were collecting golden spatulas. Yes, Bubble Buddy, I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes. We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top. Why, that's a long reach. If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third, and Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big bake sale every Monday. What does that have to do with anything? Um, the golden spatula? Oh, at the top of the sand castle, right. That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. Well, if it's not easy to reach. Let's see what Bubble Buddy means by that. What you must do is press this button over here. A simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Water rising must get to higher. Run! SpongeBob just explained that for you. Since the water is rising, he must get to high ground. There are some shortcuts to cut this. But I just took somewhat of a long way. Then the water rises back down. Well, it lowers it back down actually. And we made it over here. Watch out, there's a cannon that shoots beach balls at you.
Why would a kid be shooting beach balls? Who even made that there? Oh really? I made it where Patrick is. Well, I'm gonna try going back. So I made it back here. Just wanted to defeat those robots. Or what I should have done was switch to Patrick and get that sock over there. I'll do that afterwards. I just got to get to myself around here. Because there's another cannon that shoots beach balls. Oh, come on. It's not easy getting attacked by a beach ball, but at least I destroyed the cannon. So you can use this trampoline to get all the way up faster. And then there's a golden spatula. Let me just get to that shiny object. And now, what I can do is get all the way to that sock up top of the castle, the sand castle over here. Well, there's a way to get sh more shiny objects faster. Could have been an even more super ultra mega monster combo. Anyway, why don't we switch to Patrick? Well done, SpongeBob! Well done indeed. Time to switch to Patrick and we can get that song. So, what are you supposed to be? I'm a starfish. What are you? I'm a figment of SpongeBob's imagination. Oh, that makes sense. Is this the first time Sp Patrick and Bubble Buddy even meet? Anyway, why don't we press that button? Then the water rises again. This time we go to Patrick. So what you want to do here is, when the water reaches its highest point, we make our way to that freezy fruit. And now the water freezes, we can get that sock. See how many socks we have. Just five in this level. So we just have six more socks left in Goo Lagoon. And now we're switching back to SpongeBob. As the water was lowering back down, we can make our way through here again. And 
And before we go any further, I just want to show you something if you want more shiny objects. It involves falling down a lot just so those T's can respawn. First we have to make our way around. And I believe I missed a shiny object. Maybe I'll get it later. I did not know you can get shiny objects this way. There should be a checkpoint around here somewhere. But we don't appear here. I'll just use my bubble bowl against that tiki. Any more shiny objects? I don't think so, so here's what I can do. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. So we have respawned. I'm just going to do this twice so I don't waste my time collecting shiny objects and actually continuing on with this game with this level actually so what you do is go up here and then bolt from the rest You've just met the sponginator. for more shiny objects Same thing goes with something with Bubble Bowl, which I'll get to that part later. I'll do this one more time, and then we'll continue on. So we do this once more. And you can do this as many times as you want to get more shiny objects. You've just met the sponginator. But let's actually continue on to the Gulagoon Sea Caves.